everyone. Today I'd like to demonstrate some of the physical manifestations of Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome. Uh, it's something that's coming up a bit. People are asking me questions about uh, how it can affect your body. So I'm going to show you a few tricks with my body. Now everybody is told with Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome not to practice these tricks because they are damaging. So I'm going to do these as a one-off for this video for you. So first of all, I will demonstrate some of my hypermobility. Hypermobility is graded on something called the Baton scale and both Dusty and I are nine out of nine on the Baton scale, which is basically as hypermobile as it gets. Um, so one of the main ones you see a lot of EDSs do is, is this, popping your thumb easily on your arm and another one is being able to put your pinky finger more than 90 degrees back which is really easy for me to do um, then there's some that i'll stand back here for where you can see um, me touching the ground flat palmed with my legs straight and also how my knee extends uh, beyond its range and i'll also try and show you how my arms and elbows are with my arms I'll show you a couple extras so that's actually pulled all the way across and over um, it can get stuck there sometimes because I have popped it out of its socket to do that and the other one does it as well and this is one of my favorites to be a bit surprising when people question how hypermobile you are So there's not a lot of doubt on my hypermobility there. Uh, another way that a Liz Danlos syndrome can manifest is in stretchy skin, which I also have relatively all over. It's very hard to show in, a, in the camera because I'm looking as well. My face, my stretchy face. <laughs> So these are typical signs and symptoms of Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome. Um, again, don't practice them. It's really not very good for you. And um, I'll catch you soon for another video, which Dusty will join me in.